So, I think he's alive. Yeah. I think they sent him down to Brazil somewhere where he could speak Spanish yeah. and still do him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now we here and Sub-Zero is saying what I was saying when he called me a clown. I said, I don't think the man is dead. A video popped up on my feed. It's called Ratmatic. I clicked it. It's Bullets Gotti and Sub-Zero having a conversation. It's well filmed. Looks great. Production looks good. And the title says, uh, Alpo is alive. And I'm like, no. So Zero called me a clown when I presented it a year ago, a year or two years ago, or a year and a half ago, I said the same thing. He called me a clown. Okay. Now I watched the Bullets Gotti and his interview, and he's saying I pose alive. So which is it? Is Sean in HD a clown, Sub-Zero? Am I a clown? I said the same thing. I can go back to the video, bro. It's up. It's stamped. It's in history. Way before you saying it now. And I am i don't really care. I'm just doing journalism. With, with, with Sub-Zero is, is journalism, and he actually know Apple. And to be honest... This is why I say the game is, is selfish because at the end of the day, even with my handicap, even with what they're doing to me, I still keep going. I still keep going. And I'm the young elder coming up with great content. I actually go out in the street, yo. I actually go get the content. Before they crippled my page, that's what I was doing. That was the MO. And my thing is, dude, I never bash Poe. I never called, I never said blatantly like he's a like he's a rat, a snitch, blatantly, as if I care. I don't care. I used to see Alpo on, on, on Lennox on 119th Street all the time. I, I didn't go up to him and be a fake person and say, yo, what's up, my man, my man? No. I seen him, he see me, he see me all the time. I'm walking up and down Lennox a lot. And I see him, he see me. And I, I go about my business, whatever. But did he inform? Yes. Martinez inspired the 2002 movie Paid in Full. His character Rico was played by rapper Cameron. The film followed the rise and fall of a criminal enterprise of Harlem gangsters. We got a little taste of it in the movie, but in real life, I could just imagine. We found Sean in HD, a social media influencer, at the scene where Martinez was gunned down. He tells Pix11 News he did not know Martinez personally, but... Some people are saying it's karma. Some people are celebrating. And there are people that do care about Alpo. There are people that love the guy. Those who knew Martinez have mixed feeling. In 2015, he was released from prison after serving more than 20 years for 14 murders. He was entered into the witness protection program, but Martinez did not lay low, often returning to the same streets where his legacy started. This is a sad situation, and I just hope, I wish they stopped doing this gun violence. Sean in HD is documenting what happened to Alpo on his iPad for one reason, to change the narrative. I'm out here to try to deter the kids and the youth from ending up like an Alpo Martinez. Y'all see me cover Poe, those that know, know. And I was out there in the streets and, and I got the exclusive before everybody because I was really out there like a madman thinking I was a journalist in the streets. And I said, damn, I really like this. I push it to the limit to where when police see me, oh yeah, we know who you are. Cause I was running up on police, everything. Now I put out a video the other right after I dropped anything on Po. I put out a video because my boy who does video videography in Harlem, I spoke to him. And he said, yo, man, I was going home. I walked past 135th. 
and he seen Alpo's truck. He was like, yo, Alpo truck was right there. And it was on the street light. He, he said it was right in front of the precinct. He said he couldn't believe it. It was Alpo truck. Right in front of the street light. Right, right on the neat street light by the precinct 135th Street. So I said, yo, did you get in the video any pictures? He said, he said, yeah, man, I took my phone and I started filming. He said, yeah, I looked in the truck and everything. I said, did you see blood in the truck? He said, after the police retrieved this vehicle from the scene and brought it to the police station on 135th. Okay, I'm going to drop, I'm going to drop the Addy to the precinct. Well, the truck was brought to 135th Street between 8th and 7th, the precinct. And, um, you know, it was still banged up pretty bad. It was still damaged. Um, windows were broke. And um, it was actually visible. You know, it was sectioned off by, you know, um, some, uh, you know, cones and stuff. They had it, like, sectioned off. But uh, it, it, it definitely was uh, sitting outside the precinct. You don't got to tell them how you got to the truck because we don't want to give up your source. But... Let us know exactly what happened, man, from when you saw the truck to when you captured the footage. I mean, the truck was in front of the precinct, and like I said, it was sectioned off, but you could actually kind of like, you know, if you was tall enough, you could kind of like tippy-toe and look in the truck and see, like, what was in there, or what was going on. And, um, you know, at just walking through the block, you know what I mean? Uh, I was able to get a little, you know, glance inside, like see what was going on, you know, as I walked through, cause like I said, the windows were broke. So uh, it really wasn't nothing to take a peek inside, see how it looked, you know? All right, now here's the question, the million dollar question, you know what I'm saying? And the question that some of, some of the people were saying from the get go, but you the eyewitness and ain't nothing worse than an eyewitness. I keep telling people an eyewitness at a trial is detrimental because they, they were there. They were there. And my mess was there. Now I'm going to ask you the question. Did you see any blood in the truck? No, I did not. There was no blood in the truck. There was no blood in the truck. There was no blood. No. Because you see the holes. The, the window wasn't shattered when the bullets went through. It was like perfect little holes. So blood is what's important. You saw no blood, brother? No blood at all? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. I, I know where the precinct is. I know there's mad bright bright lights out there in the front. That whole, that half of that block is little lights. So... Are you a tall brother? You not no little short dude. And I know you. You, even though them cones was there, I know you crept up to that truck. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, it's a it's a historical story. So it's like, wow, the truck is really right here. Like, okay, shoot. Let me see what it looked like. So some people are saying that here's some scenarios. When I was covering the situation, it could be Either Poe went to the hospital and survived and they put him back in witness protection or he was wearing his bulletproof vest because from him getting hit and they pulling him out the truck, it went cold from there. And it's it's like everything is top secret with the dude. I ain't seen no blood in the truck. I said, wow, no blood in the truck? So I said... Is Poe alive? And then I started to backtrack and I started to think and say, hold up. When I covered the story, I noticed everything is hush hush. Okay? Everything was quiet and hush hush. It's just certain officers and police sergeants leaked information to me. I already knew that they caught homie. I already know who homie is. I already knew all of that because of what was told to me. It's interesting that it's politics and everything. Even something as basic as somebody seeing you, 
with a tab, I had a tablet, but they consistently see me, saw me. They consistently saw me. And some people are pro Alpo and some people are not pro Alpo. Well, it's the same thing in law enforcement. And those law enforcement officers leaked the stories to me, leaked the information to me. Yo, look, they got the guy. They been had the guy. And the news people are not saying they had the, 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 the suspect. I knew that. Two, two, I knew he didn't get hit in vital areas. Also, Gene Deal confirmed he was wearing a vest. So I said, okay, where, where the shots hit him at? All in the arm. All in the arm right here. I said, wow. I followed the case all the way up until Harlem Hospital. And the case went cold. Okay? It went cold. It went... So I said, hold up. So I got all this information up until the hospital. Okay, what happened to Alpo at the hospital or after the hospital? When he got there to when he stayed there to when he leave or where did where did where did the body go? Where did he go? Cold case. You don't hear nothing. Then they come out and say, Oh yeah, man, they 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 cremated him. They cremate the body. Hold up, cremate the body. So, that was fast. Two, no news report, no nothing after Poe's in the hospital. You, you telling me you have big, this is a big deal. The FBI's, the F to be the eyes involved. This is a big deal. Major, major story. And you telling me that the news people is like this? Shh. Notice that's how they treated this case. And I was saying, hold up, that man ain't dead. I said that. And then my boy confirmed it when he said, yo, man, I seen the truck. That video was up. That audio was up because I recorded that conversation. And he was being as truthful and honest as he can be. Now, the funny thing about that video, that's why I stay in my lane. And I do my own thing. And I made my way. It's just YouTube playing with me. I know dudes that's on here that can't speak properly. They retarded slow. And they got a million views. I'm coming with real entertainment. Y'all seen what I... Well, y'all want, want me... You know what? I'm going to have to do a trailer. I'm going to have to do a reminder. I was the first... And nobody did it like I did it, like I did it for TV and for the internet. When I put that video up, here comes Sub-Zero, world's famous Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero's an elder in the game. Sub-Zero, Q from Worldstar, they older than me. Vlad came later. Um, another dude, Forbes DVD, uh, um, Doggy Diamonds. These guys are... The elders in the game. So I, a young and me under them coming up, I'm a young elder. They elders, I'm a young elder. Sub-Zero comes and comment on that video and call me a clown. The video when I said Alpo is not dead, he comes on my comment section and calls me a clown. You clown, you diss, you that. Okay, cool. What, what did Sean and HD do? Nothing. Because it's the internet. And that's his man's. He grew up on the Alpo. He grew up on the post banner. Okay? He's from... He he knows Alpo personally. I don't. So I, I, I thought I was doing something wrong. I thought I was disrespecting. So I seen Sub-Zero in the Bronx. I seen him. And I went to him. I said, hey, Sub, what's up? I said, we met originally at my storage in Harlem. He said, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, he got that subtle tone, right? Just like Poe. Don't be fooled by the men with the, yeah, okay, with the calm tone. I said, you know what? You're a legend to me in this game, and I would like an interview from you. <laughs> so I showed him my channel at the time, and he was like, no, I gave him my IG. 
he said, nah, you gotta get your views up before you interview me. Fine, I, I'm not sweating it. I don't take none of this internet stuff personal. You know why? Because I'm comfortable in my in my thing. It's these guys holding me back. I should have been on top long time ago. After I did Young Dolph, YouTube should have ascended me to Mount Rushmore. Because I was the first YouTuber to go and investigate what happened to Young Dolph. I even spoke to his ops. You know what I'm saying? I know what about the... Anyway, that's a whole nother thing. The point I'm making is this, y'all. Right now, there's a guy named Bullets Gotti. Bullets Gotti is a, is a guy in the game. He has his own take on things and mannerism and how he do things. Uh, sometimes I question his ways. And it's not personal. It's just me watching. So I, I think he's a cool guy. But when he get too deep, especially when he was in the trenches with, with um, Hassan Campbell, I was going to go that radical. Okay, he went radical with Hassan Campbell. And sometimes Bullets got to go radical with his own views and takes on how he handle and present his information online. But he's been in my comments shouting me out. And he's been showing some support. Shout outs to him. Now, I get it. They seen the little 50 views now and that views now. But they don't know that it's, YouTube is saying it's a bug. But it's, I think YouTube holding me back. They, they saying it's a technical thing on my page. You're going to have to delete some videos. One of your videos is a bug and this and that. Look, it's all garbage. I already know what it is. They're supposed to take the page because I had three strikes in nine days. That didn't happen. So now they just playing with me. When you see low views, people tend to say, hold up. His views are low right now. But this guy should be on top. Facts. I have way more experience with rappers and celebrities than Bullet Scotty. I got way more stories. And I think he identified with that. That, yo, this dude shouldn't be on this level. We should be even past him. Now, out of respect for Bullet Scotty, he's been over here. I, I guess the algorithm, because of that, a video popped up on my feed. It's called Ratmatic. I clicked it. It's Bullets Gotti and Sub Zero having a conversation. It's well filmed. Looks great. Production looks good. And the title says uh, Alpo is alive. And I'm like, no. Sub Zero called me a clown when I presented it a year ago. A year or two years ago. Or a year and a half ago, I said the same thing. He called me a clown. Okay? Now, I watched the Bullets Gotti and his interview, and he's saying I pose alive. So, which is it? Is Sean and HD a clown, Sub-Zero? Am I a clown? I said the same thing. I can go back to the video, bro. It's up. It's stamped. It's in history. Way before you saying it now. And I am i don't really care. I'm just doing journalism. With, with, with Sub-Zero is, is journalism. And he actually you know Apple. And to be honest. This is why I say the game is, is selfish. Because at the end of the day. Even with my handicap. Even with what they doing to me. I still keep going. I still keep going. And I'm the young elder coming up. With great content, I actually go out in the street, yo. I actually go get the content. Before they crippled my page, that's what I was doing. That was the MO. And my thing is, dude, I never bash Poe. I never called. I never said blatantly like he's a like he's a rat, a snitch, blatantly. As if I care. I don't care. I used to see Alpo on, on, on Lennox on 119th Street. All the time, I, I didn't go up to him and be a fake person and say, yo, what's up, my man, my man? No, I seen him, he seen me, he seen me all the time. I'm walking up and down Lennox a lot. And I see him, he see me. 
and I, I go about my business, whatever. But did he inform? Yes, that's history. Now, what I decided to do was say, you know what? I'm going to take a negative and turn to a positive. How about I do something with kids? How about I do that? And I came up with off the set movement. I came up with off the set movement to try to show kids, look, you don't want to go the Alpo route. You want to you want to not be on the set, you want to be off the set. You don't want to be on anything negative, you want to be off anything negative. You want to be off the set. You, I don't want you to gangbang. I don't want you to join the set. I want you off the set. The off the set movement, that's what I was pushing. That's if YouTube didn't cripple me, now I got to do a whole new page and and start over from scratch because it's crippled over here. And a guy with my talent, my vision, that shouldn't have happened. Sometimes in life, the most high works in mysterious ways. Really. Because at the end of the day, what I did when I covered the story, why people gravitated to it is because I wasn't being biased and say, Rat, 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 snitch, snitch, snitch. I'm going to leave that up to the interviews on the other platforms where they could do that. I don't know him to, to go up to him and say, in pharma. Did I hang with him? No. Would I, would I have hung with him? No. Would I have party with him? No. Because I got to stand on my Jamaican code. I'm the last real Jamaican left. And I'm sticking to my culture. We don't mess with in pharma. But I respect people for certain things. Even people that did bad and wrong... There's certain things you got to respect. There's certain things you got to respect. So there's um there's value in Alpo's story. There's value in how he lived his life. You can take things from it so that you can better yourself and your community. And that's why I said I was going to do my off the set movement. And I believe, let me tell you something. Alpo got shot one time and police saved him. He lucky that police officer was patrolling that block. This time as an older man, getting not only getting shot, but, but they, they chased him. They gave chase. The man had a million dollar deal on the table. Puffy's baby mother had something to do with that acquisition. Now that's gone or it's here nor there. We don't know what's going on. But I'm guaranteeing you that there's a song that James Bond had. James Bond, the theme song, one of the theme songs was You Only Live Twice. And I guarantee you that he got the message this time around. He got the message. Now, that's why I know that, yo, this dude is not like a stone cold lunatic psycho killer. Now, he had his reasons for why he had certain men killed. But until, until I'm hearing that Alpo killed an innocent black person or innocent person, period. If I hear Alpo killed a woman, if I hear Alpo killed an innocent youth, if I hear Alpo straight bullet kill a baby, until I hear that, I'm going to have some, some respect due to his story and how he lived his life. Because from what I know, Alpo had he didn't pull the trigger himself but alpo killed people that was doing what he was doing which was poisoning the community now as far as the rich porter situation to me that's a betrayal move because i think he could have handled that differently that's the one fault as far as the alpo story Notice I say Alpo the man because this ain't personal. As far as the Alpo story goes, when he killed Rich Porter, 
I think he could have handled that better. I think so. Because understand, when you kill Rich Porter, you didn't just kill him. You killed everybody that was feeding off Rich Porter. You killed, you killed the economy of that circle. And then the little boy, his little brother, I should say, Darnell Porter got caught in a miss. And now you took out the king. Who's going to pay for that ransom? And when they knew the money couldn't be paid, they did bodily harm to the child. Sorry about that. That Those are the things that hurt my heart because I'm a father and that hurts my heart that the child had to be, the, the game was dirty. You know, I know personally the, the drug game came with demons. It possessed men and women. It would turn somebody decent into a savage monster. Okay. Family against family. I mean, I was, my. it wasn't, it might have been coke, crack, but whatever the drug was, my family was involved. And, I, and I'm telling y'all, family against family is no joke. Look out the window. You look out the window, you see two of the ugliest men in the world. And then your family member telling you, I was going to send them in there to kill everybody. You better tell him that I need my money. And this is blood, family. Family. I know the game. Now, people that know me, they don't know that part of my life. They, they had ideas. But I was just a kid suffering from PTSD because I grew up in downtown Kingston with all that violence. My uncle got murdered in front of me with an M16 when I was five years old. The first body I seen lift off the ground. That gun is very powerful. And other people, other bodies and police kill it. Police are, poli y'all complaining about police in America? Sean HD going to do a documentary about why I feel police is a class thing more than a racial thing. Because go to Jamaica, y'all don't even want, y'all don't even, that's why I say DJ Academics is a fraud. You're not a real yard man. Stop saying you, you, you like Kamala Harris claiming claiming black right now. She been Indian. She don't know nothing about black. You is a Yankee. You don't know nothing about Jamaica. Stop it. End of the day, I'm real. I'm the last real Jamaican left. And I'm real on this YouTube. All my content raw, real, raw and real. I go to the, I go to the hood. I go to the back of the corner, around the corner. I talk to the the people involved, guess what? And I didn't even put up a dollar to do that. They just did it because the energy is real. Is it safe now? No, it ain't safe. And I wouldn't do it. I did. Hey, boy, I tell you, I'm crazy. But I said Poe was alive based on my boy's information. And I recorded that conversation. We're going to rehash this. We're going to, but not right here. Because they're killing the page here. I did. Come on, man. I Come on. This is ridiculous over here. 52 views in two days. It's ridiculous over here. That is impossible when you have over 15,000 subscribers. Then they telling me it's a bug over here or some technical things. Anyway, shout outs to Bullet Scotty. Shout outs to the legend Sub-Zero. All I'm saying is, sub, uh, I said it first, and you call me a sucker and this and that, but it's not personal to me. I'm just staying in my lane. I'm going to stay in my lane, yo. I'm just staying in my lane. You knew Alpo. You, are, you have a personal relationship with Alpo. We don't have that. But from a journalist standpoint, the guy that took his tablet, that was screen cracked and everything, and I made it work. At least give me some credit. At least give me some credit. Because I did set it first. I said Alpo's not dead. And you call me a clown. And now you saying the same thing. Oh, Alpo ain't dead because of X, Y, Z. And if you saying it, that even makes what I said more credible because that's your man's. You know him. Stay tuned right here, man.
You know what time it is. You know who you watching, Sean and HD. We gonna do a whole new page. This page is done. It, it, I hit them up again. Oh, there's bugs, there's bugs. No, y'all playing me. They playing me because I really had three strikes in 90 days. Three strikes in 90. This is Sean and HD the great. I'm great at what I've done with nothing. With, 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 with my broken tablet, I started this. With my broken tablet, I had a YouTube since 2010, but I really started putting in work when Poe passed away. Al Poe passed away. Y'all see me out there, even in the even I was so thorough with it, you know what I'm saying, that I was getting noticed by the people that actually do this. Real journalists, Channel 11 News, Lisa Evers, all of them see me out there covering the story. Now we gonna get to that. But I'm just warning y'all, I'm letting y'all know, all new content, the website, the platform is videofamer.com. Just like you're a Hall of Famer, we all video famers over here. You know what I'm saying? I go way back when I had the big camera. You know what I'm saying? When I was working for Bad Boy, that's how I got through the gate. You know what I mean? Now, we here. And they playing me. We we don't own this platform. This is why we need our own stuff. You know what I mean? This 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 these so they mad. They mad because I put Kanye. They mad because I I talked about the Ukraine. They mad because I talked about dope fiend Hunter Biden. By the way, if you see Hunter Biden, tell him come to Harlem. We got it for cheap.